Maasim, Acts 18. After these things, Paul departed from Athens and came to Corinth and found a certain Yaudi named Aquila, born in Pontus, lately come from Italy, with his woman Priscilla, because that Claudius had commanded all Yaudim to depart from Rome and came unto them. And because he was of the same craft, he abode with them and wrought, for by their occupation they were tent makers. And he reasoned in the synagogue every Shabbat, and persuaded the Yaudim and the Yavanim. And when Sila and Timotheus were come from Macedonia, Paul was pressed in the Ruach, and testified to the Yaudim that Yahusha was Hamashiach. And when they opposed themselves and blasphemed, he shook his raiment and said unto them, Your blood be upon your own heads. I am clean. From henceforth I will go unto the other nations. And he departed thence and entered into a certain man's house named Titus, one that worshipped Yah, whose house joined hard to the synagogue. And Crispus, the chief ruler of the synagogue believed on Yahuwah with all his house, and many of the Korathim, rather Korintim, hearing believed in Yahuwah, and were immersed. Then spoke Yahuwah to Paul in the night by a vision, Be not afraid, but speak, and hold not your peace. For I am with you, and no man shall set on you to hurt you. For I have much people in this city. And he continued there a year and six months, teaching the word of Yahuwah among them. And when Gallio was the deputy of Achaia, rather Achaia, the Yahudim, made insurrection with one accord against Paal, and brought him to the judgment seat, saying, this fellow persuades men to worship Yahuwah contrary to the Torah. And when Paal was now about to open his mouth, Gallio said unto the Yaudim, If it were a matter of wrong or wicked lewdness, O ye Yaudim, reason would that I should bear with you. But if it be a question of words and names and of your Torah, look ye to it. For I will be no judge of such matters. And he drove them, rather drove them from the judgment seat. Then all the Yavanim took Kuthechnik, the chief ruler of the synagogue, and beat him before the judgment seat. And Gallio cared for none of those things. And Paul after this tarried there yet a good while, and then took his leave of the brethren, and sailed thence into Aram, and with him Priscilla and Aquila, having shorn his head in Chenchia, rather Senchia, for he had a vow. And he came to Ephesus, and there, rather, and left them there. But he himself entered into the synagogue, and reasoned with the Yahudim, when they desired him to tarry longer time with them, he consented not, but bade them farewell, saying, I must by all means keep this feast that comes in Yerushalayim, but I will return again unto you, if Yahuwah will. And he sailed from Ephesus. And when he had landed at Quekaria, and gone up, and saluted the called-out assembly, he went down to Antioch, and after he had spent some time there, he departed and went over all the country of Galatia and Phrygia in order, strengthening all the Talmudim. And a certain Yahudi named Apollos, born at Alexandria, an eloquent man and mighty in the scriptures, came to Ephesus. This man was instructed in the way of Yahuwah, and being fervent in the Ruach, he spoke and taught diligently the things of Yahusha, 
knowing only the immersion of Yahuchanan. And he began to speak boldly in the synagogue, whom when Aquila and Priscilla had heard, they took him unto them, and expounded unto him the way of Yahua more perfectly. And when he was disposed to pass into Achaia, the brethren wrote, exhorting the Talmudim to receive him, who, when he was come, helped them much which had believed through grace. For he mightily convinced the Yahudim, and that publicly, showing by the scriptures that Yahusha was Hamashiach, 